A controlled blast. Authorities detonate explosives in the apartment of 24-year-old shooting suspect James Holmes. Earlier, bomb squad experts working with a robot disabled what they called a sophisticated booby trap allegedly set by Holmes. This tripwire was set up to, to clearly detonate when somebody entered that apartment. An extensive amount of evidence is in the process of being collected and we will bring this portion of the investigation to a close and allow the families back in their homes here probably by tomorrow. All evidence will be sent to the Terrorist Explosive Device Analytical Center at the FBI's lab at Quantico. Meanwhile, victims and eyewitnesses who were in the crowded cinema on Friday continued to recount their experiences. Pierce O'Farrell was wounded in the shoulder and leg. I thought he was going to kill me. That was really the thought in my head was he was going to just, I was in agonizing pain and I thought he was just going to put the gun to my head and, and kill me. Jansen Young survived because her boyfriend shielded her with his own body. He was killed. I was like, oh my gosh, I think John just took a bullet for me. I was thinking about what a great hero he is. And like, I wouldn't, he provided me the opportunity to survive through that. And he just knew, you know. Investigators say packages they found inside that brick apartment behind me suggest that Holmes had been amassing an arsenal for weeks. That suggests premeditation. His first court appearance is on Monday. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Aurora, Colorado.